wrestling dream matches are few and far between. Some dream matches never happened, for example, Sting vs. The Undertaker. And with The Undertaker retired and Sting in AW, there's 0% chance for this match. But this cannot be said for some dream matches, as some took place. But which matches are they? Well, join us well as look at 10 dream matches that actually took place. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more videos. Number 1. Aoko Gun vs. Spreadheart. Nitro 98. Given WCW's deep talent roster, it's not surprised Aoko Gun well did dream bouts in the promotion. Spreadheart claims Ogun was supposed to wrestle him and drop the WWF Championship in 1993. That didn't happen, but fans got to see the two battle during the 10th of September 1998 edition of Nitro. Unfortunately, the match was a short dad, that's how Spreadheart injured and stretched out. Sting would take the ultimate's place only for her to return and attack the Stinger. Yet, another question about WCW self and the waste of what could have been a true dream match. Number 2. Triple H vs. Spreadheart, Raw 1987. While Triple H was an MN fan player, he was no kid in Jekyll in 1987. Working alongside Shawn Michaels in Generation X. On 6 October 1997, Triple H battled WWF World Champion Spreadheart in a match designed to continue the hit between D-Generation X and that foundation. While this match didn't go to a conclusive finish, it was still entertaining, featuring interference from Shawn Michaels and China that allowed the under to claim a counter victory. Number 3. Hauko Gun vs. Recruit, also January 1988. Wrestling lawyers hit Hauko Gun did work to work with Rafishing Recruit, because the Rafishing one worked stiff. They did lock up though in January 1988 working a live event in the Boston Gardens and another in Vancouver, British Columbia. Where it's hard to say how a program between the two they've played out, the Boston match can be found on the video, Alcogan, the unreleased archives, giving fans only an idea of how Hogan and Rick Root worked together. Number 4. Steve Austin vs Eddie Guerrero, SmackDown 2000. Eddie was on the rise, but he was an AWF main event player to manifest the Texas Rattles make in November 2000. Still, that didn't stop him and Stokko from having a short but action packed match that was ever from brawling. Two years later, the WWE set and stayed for what looked like an Austin vs. Cardinal feud, but that year Austin knocked out on the WWE after they asked him to lose clean to Brock Lesnar on sweet television with no build up. Number 5 Brock Lesnar vs. Chris Benoit, SmackDown 2003. This battle between two wrestling machines saw the best incarnate battling the rapid over on the 4th December 2003 SmackDown. What Benoit like denied, he made up in the fight, giving less Lamo than he bargained for, and getting Lesnar to take out with the crippler process. The only problem was, there was no referee to make the call, as it would be taken out accidentally. Lesnar grabbed a chair, busted Benoit, and got a TKO win. Despite the screw job ending, this was a captivating bout and one you should check out if you haven't seen it. Number 6. Reza Ramon vs. Tarateka, House from 1982 and 1983. The bad guy was still playing a bad guy when he tangled with the Undertaker in September 1982, taking a double count out after the Undertaker nearly hit him with the tombstone. The two scrapped again this time in early 1983, when Reza walked out again after a choke slam by the Undertaker. Must have made Reza Ramon to take the description is better part of Valorant. Number 7. AJ Styles vs Shinsuke Nakamura, Wrestle Kingdom 10. Yes, this happened. It was everything you hoped for, and more. Nakamura was IWGP Intercontinental Champion when he defended the title against the Phenomenal at New Japan Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom 10. The lead of the Bullet Club fell to Nakamura in a 24 minute classic. New Japan Pro Wrestling fans were shocked when they learned AJ Styles, DOC Gallows, Carl Anderson, and Shinsuke Nakamura were leaving the promotion for WWE. Number 8. Goldberg vs. Randy Orton, Raw 2003 The August 18, 2003 Raw featured Randy Orton taking on Big Goldberg. The Evolution member undoubtedly hoped to soften Goldberg for his up and coming SummerSlam match which Raw Dave World Champion Triple H. With Stone Cold Steve Austin serving as guest enforcer, Goldberg overcame Ric Flair's interference, pinning Orton after hitting the spear and the jackham. A win by Goldberg seemed inevitable, but it was still an entertaining match. Number 9 Rob Van Dam vs Shawn Michaels, Raw 2002 Shawn Michaels return to action was highlighted in a battle of Flyers, as the show stopped a battle of the OFA show just weeks after Michaels won the World FA Championship in 2002 Survivor Series. 
This match could have been one for the ages, but instead served as a way to continue the program between Michaels and Triple H. What the fans did see of HBK and Aravidi was memorable, with both men showing what made their matches more electrifying. Number 10. Brock Lesnar vs Hogan, SmackDown 2002 Organizers complained that Oxa never put anyone over, but that's not what, what happened during this 8 August 2002 SmackDown episode, where Lesnar kicked out of Hogan's leg drop of doom, knocked him out with a bag, then delivered a bloody post-match beatdown. Hogan wasn't at a height of his abilities, but he was no jabron either, having recently held the WWE Championship. But there you go guys, a list of 10 dream matches that actually took place. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to see more videos. And also check out these matches if you haven't. And do then, see you next time.